Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I have my little sister here. Hi. She's gonna be putting her makeup on with me today. Um, so y'all pretty much know all the products I'm gonna be using, so I'm not gonna go into depth about anything that I'm really using. I will say I'm using the Eco Tools sponge today, which I just got. Supposedly this is 50% better than the leading prestige brand sponge, aka the beauty blender. So we'll see. It has really cool angles on it. It's very soft. Don't know, I've got a little bone to pick with Real Techniques about changing their sponge, so maybe this will be my new drugstore sponge. We'll just have to wait and see. So Lindsay's gonna be telling you about her products that she's using just because she uses like very different things than I do. We've got some, <laughs> we've got some Glossier in here. We have some cover effects, which I am be surprised about. Why? You have the cover effects custom enhancer drops. Bougie AF. I don't think I use it right, but I like it anyway. Let's see. That's, That's right here. here. We have some bare minerals in here. Yeah. Concealer. Oh, do you have a sharpener? I do. The big kind? Okay. So let's see. We've got some dental floss. That's good. I wonder what she's that for. Don't worry, I won't be we have right now. bare minerals, glossier. Uh, some pixie. I don't use that anymore. She doesn't use that. It looks like a eyeshadow palette. Eyebrows. Eyebrow palette. Very cool. So we're just going to be chit-chatting and getting ready. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel before you go. Hit that notification bell so you get alerts. And give us a thumbs up so that she keeps coming back to the videos. <laughs> go ahead and keep watching. <laughs> okay, so she is currently sharpening a pencil slash doing something. I don't really know. I already put on my new favorite e.l.f. primer, which is the brightening primer at $6. So good. Literally better than like my $56 primer, which is absurd. But what is that? So this is e.l.f. primer. It primes your face so your makeup stays on better. Um, both of these are. Skip the stuff. This one's $56 and this one's $6. Wow. And this one's better. I know. Can you believe that? Okay, so I already did that. I've dampened my sponge, and I did also put on that Smashbox primer water to start because y'all don't always do that. So, um, which foundation should I do today? Um, something light because we're doing activities. We're doing activities, you guys. So light, like not something that you're gonna be worried about messing up. I always worry about messing up my makeup. Oh, okay. Well, I don't. So what are you putting on? So I did, I think I did this backwards, but I think it'll be okay. First I did sunscreen, Glossier. Yeah. Now I'm doing priming moisturizer. No, that's fine. So she puts her sunscreen on. Good job. She does a primer and a moisturizer mix, which y'all know don't do. I do a moisturizer and then a primer. But yeah. some people are into that, and that's cool. Yeah, I like simple. I think your um, routine is much more interesting than mine. It definitely is. And, and I'm darkening it because you know I always pick the lightest foundation. Oh, I don't even know you could do that. Yeah, because it's too light. I can never find the right undertone, so I always pick up the lightest one that has the actual undertone, and then I darken it with darkening drops. Interesting. Yeah. You're like an artist. I know. Look at me mixing my foundation right here. Yeah. Yes. See, so now it's like a little bit darker oh. and like a little pinker. You know. Mm. Okay, let's see how we like this sponge, you guys. Has anyone used a Real Technique sponge? I haven't. I'm, it has a nice flat edge, which I'll have into, but I don't think I've ever owned a sponge. What are you putting on now? Um, this is Benefit Eye Bright. She owns Benefit, you guys. I don't even use anything from Benefit. So this is really great for my dark circles. I found it when I was working on my master's because that was... What do you have a master's in? Um, master's of Art with a focus in interior design. She's an registered interior designer mm -hmm. and there's an exam that you have to and like you have to pass it and get like board certified yeah it's really intensive it is um but yeah so this pencil it's great but it hurts drawing on my little dark circles yeah so i use this old concealer pot pod thing that ran out and then i just break it off into it mm -hmm. And then she like sharpened it into it. Yeah. And so this is the benefit. Did you see what this was? Benefit Eye Bright. Yeah. It's the instant eye brightener. Yeah. So it's just like kind of cakey looking right it's like now. It's like a pinky purple color. Yeah. So I break it off in here and then just mush it around. It's really good. Huh? Yeah. Girls, could you stop? I really like this blend. It's really soft. I feel like it's blending out really nicely. Um, I'm not really sure where I'm going to put the powder on it, but. We'll figure it out. I should feel like I should have started on the other side, but it's fine. 
Um, and then I use actual concealer. What kind of concealer is that? Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals. And yeah. I look at this cute little packaging, you guys. It has like a little mirror in it. Yeah, I don't use that. It's too small. Okay, so this is the Bare Minerals Correcting Concealer with SPF 20, and she has it in light. Yeah, because pale. Should we tell her about our awesome drugstore concealers that we have that don't cost $48 like that one probably does? Well, so, okay, you can. But I already know what I'm getting next. What are you getting next? I'm going to try Glossier's. She's like rolling through Glossier, you guys. Why do you like Glossier so much? Um, because they have really great branding and packaging. Okay, because that's important. It is important. And their product is really good. Yeah. Um, mostly because I'm super hooked on Boy Brow. Boy Brow, which we'll get to. We will get to that. She loves her eyebrows as much as I do, you guys, so... Yeah. We'll just wait. I mean, she she's more of like a tinting her eyebrows kind of gal, and I'm more of like filling my eyebrows in kind of gal. Yeah. But that's okay. She also has this really cute bag. Where's this from? Kuana? Kuana. Kuana. I don't know. I don't think we have one in Houston, but there's a couple in Dallas. No, it was just a pop-up shop, and oh. it was really depressing when they it's left. It's like this, like all of her stuff is this. She has like all matching like leather. It's like pebbled black leather. It's so pretty. I love it. Robin, you disorganized my makeup bag Sorry. when you were going through here. I can get all my mascara off, but that's okay. That's what concealer's for. Um, so just cover it up. Just cover it up. Today, like, I'm just gonna go, like, medium coverage just because activities. Activities. What are you putting on now? Foundation. This one. She's using the Complexion Rescue by Bare Minerals. So it's the Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream in Opal 01. Yeah. This literally says to apply it with fingertips. That's heinous. I mean, it's. I don't think it's really a foundation per no. se, but like a tinted moisturizer. moisturizer. It's not a big deal. That's like really good for summer. Yeah, I. It's light. And have you ever tried putting it on with a sponge? Um. No. Because I just think of it like a face sponge mm -hmm. being as gross as my kitchen sponge you know, and I don't want to put that on my face. Mm -hmm. I gotcha. But I washed my hands before I came in here. But so. I also don't like scrub pots and hands with a sponge. I mean, when I clean my face before I put it on. You might. Okay, I like this flat edge of the sponge. I'm getting carried away. I'm just like chatting now. But I feel like this light is making me look really white. It looks really white on the thing, but whenever I'm recording editing it, it's not like, oh, okay. Because, like, I put that stuff on and it looks like, yeah, if you look over here, you're, you're oh, like, yeah, that's normal. Okay, so I'm going to go on with my normal drugstore concealer font routine. I've been using the um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. Love this. I have it in the lightest color available in Fair, but, like, this is not really light. It doesn't highlight, but it does conceal the dark circles really, really well. <laughs> So we're just gonna take this Excuse me, in the dark circles. It's a hiccup. I like it. And then in the inner corner, because that's where you're gonna be really dark. And this really just does a good job of like concealing your dark circles. Oh look right. at that. It's seven dollars, eight dollars at Target. And it, Target. It does burn your eyes a little bit, but not horribly. <laughs> um so how long have you been using that? I just got it like last weekend. Okay, so sometimes I find when I try new makeup, it burns. No, this one just burns. But then when you get used to it, it doesn't anymore. It just burns. Look how much I've already gone through. Insane. Which it, I had to like screw it a lot to get there. Um, and then I'm gonna be using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. I'm using it again in C1, which is the lightest neutral undertone that you can get. Seven dollars at Ulta, and I'm just gonna highlight to make my face look a little brighter in my usual areas, you guys. What are you putting on now? This is the Cover X. Cover FX? Cover what did FX. I say? Cover X. Uh, well, you know. I don't even have anything on Cover FX. Um, so these are the Cover FX we talked about earlier, Custom Enhancer Drops. She's using it in Blossom. She's mm -hmm. like this pink shimmery color. It's really it's cute. It's like a, don't put it on its side. Sorry. It's like a rose gold. Rose gold. Are there other colors like it? Yeah, I think there's like four colors. They have like a white color, which probably comes out like silvery. Yeah. They've got a gold. Maybe they have two golds. I don't really know. Maybe a champagne. Yeah. Okay, I do like this sponge until you're trying to do your concealer in the under eye. It's kind of hard to get this middle corner, but it's like a really big sponge. I'm going to be done, and you're going to have like 15 steps left to go. Yep. I'm going to use my usual airspun powder, naturally neutral. You can get it at H-E-B at $6. Mm -hmm. 
She looks very glowy. Thanks. So is she all glowy? She has to see how not I am. So if I'm feeling fans, I'll do some powder and matte. Matt things up, Matt and Matt, Mattify things. I think the heat index is 108 in Houston. <laughs> so, no powder today for me. See how glowy she is. So different. Eyebrows are next. You still have like half your face to do. Are your eyebrows next? Okay, we're gonna use the Revlon Color Stay brow pencil. I'm using it in soft brown. There's a cute little spoolie on one end, and this is the one that's like at an angle and it's a little bit bigger than the um, real brow definer that they usually use, that I have been using. Anybody on it? Glossier, cloud paint, get it, learn about it. Okay. Seamless cheek color. It's a cream blush. Yes. Lindsay, do you have oily skin? Um, no. Okay, see, that's why she uses like all these cream products. I have really oily skin, which is why I use powder products. Yeah, so I think this is technically, so I think it's supposed to be used like a blush. I thought that's what you were doing. Well, no, I use it as like a contour-ish, gotcha. like shadow thing. Yeah. The dog is going on an exploration over here. Um, I don't know, so I just like go on my, what's this called? The dent. The contour. Oh, okay. Under. Yeah. With a little of this brown. Okay. Is it brown? It's called oh, dust. You have two different colors. Yeah, right? I have two colors. So, so this is dust. And then what's the other one that you have? I don't, you can't see this. The glossier never shows up. Okay. okay. You can just bring it by your face. There we go. Dusk. It's like a, it's like a orangey. Taupey. Yeah, no, it's not too. But it's like orangey brown. Yeah. Not so pink. it's definitely a little too orange for me. So I have to go white, but that's like a lot of it on my hand. Can you yeah. see that? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, okay, so I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Brow product. Um, it's definitely like really like soft, like, and it just smears around. Like you can't really get like a defined line of it. I guess if you like opened it and like used like the sharp edge, you could get like a defined line. But it's really more like less filling in, more tinting your brows, which some reason too. But mm -hmm. I don't hate it. I'm making sure we blend it. Yeah. You're gonna that part out, right? No. Oh, this one is a bit in my drawer. That's great. Not really. Trash. Um, I'm going to use the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara in 01 Blondie Brows. Blondie Brows. Yeah, so okay, this is so like a three-in-one color, fill, and shape. It's a has fibers to make them fully looking. So you're doing two products on your eyebrows. Yes. Dedicated. This provides dimension and it like fills them in a little bit because it's fibers. Interesting. And it holds them in place. I'm using the L'Oreal Lumi Bronzer in light. What brush is that? This is a Real Techniques blush brush. Oh. Like just a little domey. Where'd you buy that? What's up? Oh. I like most of my brushes are either Morphe or Real Techniques. Yeah. Which is like a super affordable but like luxurious brand. Luxury what brand? Luxurious. Oh, luxurious. Yeah, that's one thing I definitely don't understand is eyeshadow brushes. Yeah? Yeah, there's like 50,000 different types. And they really like, are. I just want eyeshadow. Why, why does it have to be so hard? You start out with like a fluffier brush and then you get smaller as you want to more like defined. Well, yeah, I get that, but why are there so many? Yeah. Uh, right. Do I know how to do eyeshadow? No. No. Everybody knows. I don't know how to do it either. I think it's probably something wrong with our family. Our mom isn't really like into makeup. She wears eyeliner. Just eyeliner. And like a shimmer. Eyeshadow, maybe. Hi mom! She does watch my videos. Does she? How can you tell? She texts me every time I post a video. I watch your video! Lindsay doesn't watch my videos. Nope. Shouldn't have time for that. Sorry guys. I watch her stories. Sometimes. I'm just taking a little of this lemon bronzer as eyeshadow. Okay, I'm using blood brown now. You got a little heavy hand in there for some reason. Stuff is life changing, y'all. Life changing. It doesn't really do anything. What are you talking about? It's like not any darker or anything. Yes, it is. Look how much darker and more shaped it is. It's definitely more shaped. Like it looks like it's gonna hold steady, but yeah, it's like a pasty cream. Didn't you buy this? No, I see. Mm -hmm. Should I stop making sex jokes? 
You're really going to cut a lot of this out, right? We'll see. I'll have to watch it and see what I leave in. True. And then cringe. Knowing that it's on the internet forever. Um, yeah, this is way more defined. What I really like is that it's tinting my eyebrows while keeping them in place. Yeah. Does it have fibers in it? No. It looks like it does. I don't no, know. It's just a creamy gel. Using the it's Milani um, powder blush in T Rose. Oh, that's pretty. And I'm using a Morphe E4 brush. E4? Yeah. Is the E4 because it's angled, or what does that mean? Um, the E, the, the letter is based off of like which like collection it is. Oh, like this is like an M536, and then I was using a M573 for eyeshadow, <laughs> and then we have a like an M173. Look at this, it brushes me. Oh, what happened? I don't know. That's how I got it. She's on mascara now. Which highlighter should I use? Mmm. Jesus. That one. The wet and loud. Okay. Or that one. Oh, is that the one you used yesterday? Yeah. Do that one. I'm using the Japanese Kumidori Ombre Highlighter, which is my favorite. Y'all know, but it's um, it was limited edition, so it's gone. So it's what? It's gone. Oh. You can't get it anywhere. Look at that. Wow, that's quick. Yeah. So good. Okay, I'm done. I'll just watch you for this. I'm gonna put a little eyeliner on. Take my mirror back. What's wrong, Peggy? Get in the upper waterline. Make your eyelashes look fuller. Okay, so you don't put mascara on your bottom lashes? No. Why not? Because I feel like I look like I have spiders coming out of my eyeballs when I do. Because they're so long. They basically touch my skin. Like, they're so long, they curve back around and touch. See? Like, what is this part of your eye? Your under eye. Yeah. You want to spray this? Not near me. Butt. What is it? It's an X-ray. It's what the thing moves. You should blend your highlighter a little more. I don't like to blend it. Oh, I like it to be low. Better? I think so. Huh? Are you gonna cut that out? What? Me telling you to blend your highlight out. <laughs> so, jeez. So what? Uh, smells like Subway. So, how does putting water on your face prevent your makeup from coming off? So, I use all, I like pretty much use powder products. Yeah. So, it like wets the powders and like melts them together and it sticks to your skin. It's also a setting spray, so it like keeps it in place longer. Hmm. And then I also recently started doing a thickening, so I'm like really oily in my T zone, mm -hmm. which you can watch this video, I'll link it right here. Um, that you set, do the setting spray and then you coat, just do a, like a light powder dusting over your T-zone um, and it just like helps absorb the oil as you throughout the day. It makes my makeup last longer. Interesting. Um, it actually lasts me all day at work, which is like 14 plus hours without fading, which is amazing. That is amazing. Which one's your you use? Um, the same brand that I've used for the past probably. I feel like you've been using that since like high school. Since probably since I started wearing mascara. Yeah. Covergirl Lash Blast Volume. Volume in black brown. Okay, so y'all, the reason we always pick volumizing, which I use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Voluminous Lash Paradise, is because we have like hella long eyelashes mm -hmm. and we want them to be thicker. We don't need lengthening. Mm -hmm. No, we don't use any products to lengthen our eyelashes. So I was out of mascara, and I needed more. Like, I had to go to the store and buy some, and mm -hmm. they did not have this. So I had to get the combo kind. Mm -hmm. It was awful. Oh, yeah. Did it make them really long? It, like, clumped everything, and just, it felt like I had fans on my eyelids. Yeah. That's not good. That's the purple one. I don't remember what it's called, but it's purple. You use Avon makeup? Mm -hmm. 
for using Avon makeup. And mom sold it. I know, I don't think I ever really used the makeup. You can use their powder and their mascara for a little while. I used to use a lot more CoverGirl, like their matte foundation, their matte mousse. Yeah, it's Maybelline. Oh, whatever. Maybelline. I used to use a lot more Maybelline. ColourPop, wow. What is that? Oh, it's um like this. Th this is eyeshadow, yeah, but they have like foundation. Oh, I mean, I know what ColourPop is. Oh. I was just like curious what that was. Oh. We want to try the ColourPop No Filter Foundation, but I can't figure out which color they I need to get because they like use it like based off of like Fenty, which is the worst foundation ever. Fenty like Rihanna's? Yeah. You should watch my Fenty Beauty Foundation video. Okay. Final step. I'm gonna dust a little little powder using the Morphe 536 and the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in 001 Transparent. And we just go in our T zone. Just dab it on. Don't don't brush it around. Just dab it on. And light hand because you don't want to look powdery again. Right. Right. I didn't always use a setting spray and I'm like, who am I as a human being? Yeah. Very opposite tastes in music. Uh, music? In music. Makeup. In makeup. Pretty similar taste to music. Yeah. She was like more of like a, like, you like to look more natural and I like to more look more like I have makeup on. Yeah. Kind of to the point where I have zits, I have flaws on my skin, whatever. You just want to make care. Yeah. I like my makeup to last all day long, so. Mine lasts all day-ish. Okay, and because I look like a serial killer, let me put a little bit of... Serial killer? With my lips. They're, oh. I get foundation on there, and then yeah. I'm like... Hi, guys. I just do like a light coat of it. This is in spicy. That's not what I would have named it. Yeah, that is too orange. Do you have something else? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's nice. I'm just gonna wipe off some of that. What did you do with that? This. Just smear that over my Okay guys, so we're gonna finish up here. We're gonna go run some errands and go to Rice Village today. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is the look. And if you're interested in any of the products that she used, um, I can- Too bad. I can find out for you. Just comment below, let me know. Make sure you subscribe before you go. Tell your friends, tell your sister. Hit the notification bell so you get alerts when, post when I post new videos or when this gal comes back and posts and shoots videos with me. Hit that thumbs up so I know you like this so that she keeps coming back and you know that you like her. <laughs> Until then, bye guys!